Springfield's Pure Classic Rock, 104.7 The Cave, on the phone this morning with my good buddy Kristen from Sylvan Learning Center. How are you today? I'm good. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. So obviously uh, school's out for Springfield Public Schools and a lot of kids are doing the thing at home right now and uh, you guys are obviously uh, there to assist kids in in whatever it is they need as far as their education is concerned. What are you guys doing differently during the uh, stay-at-home order? We are offering um, instruction live online through Zoom. So our normal in-center situation is small groups, three students to one teacher, certified educators. Um, But with COVID-19 and Boone County. Um, stay-at-home order. We've moved everything to online instruction. Um, the teachers and the students still see each other. They're still able to communicate with each other. Um, we went from three to one to a one to one. So students are receiving private instruction. Um, we're still doing assessments and um, enrolling the students as well. Um, we're working around their school schedule um, based on the different um, scenarios for each grade level because all the different districts and all the different grade levels are doing things a little differently. So some of the kids are meeting us in the middle of the day and some of the kids are meeting us after school like a normal situation. But um, we are still out there providing the instruction that the kids need to keep them on track, um, help them through um, a particular subject at the high school level or um keep them moving in the right direction if they're that elementary, junior high age range. And we're also still offering ACT and SAT prep for the kids getting ready for the June and July exam because those have not yet been canceled. Wow, man, you guys are busy. I Obviously, it's going to be kind of a, a learning curve, pardon the pun, for a lot of kids having yeah. to do all this stuff online. Are you guys seeing a lot more interest in what you do yeah. and kind of help with that stuff? Yes. Um, we... Um, we, for the past week and a half, it's been it's been a little on the slower side, but I think parents are definitely adjusting, the students are adjusting, um, but we're starting to see not just here in Springfield, but all over the nation um, that um, that they that they still need that assistance. They need the assistance even more, and we are um, still there to provide that when they need it. Um, we're also going to be offering some um, small camps where um, still virtual, still online, but be able to offer to more than one student at a time. And then the other thing that we are doing is live um, Facebook events throughout the week. So you can find those different days and times on our Facebook page, but we've grouped them by age ranges. So we have like a kindergarten and first grade one second and third grade one, and we've been doing a high school ACT, SAT prep one in the evenings. Um, We're doing just fun educational instruction um, to anybody and everybody that wants to uh, watch the events. Last week we did a focus mainly on reading with a little bit of math, and this week we did a focus on math with a little bit of reading, Um, things like fractions. Uh, Last night we did a, um, a baking event. And then tonight there will be a uh, Facebook um, Live for ACT for writing. Um, And we're planning on keeping that going for at least the entire month. Um, We've been enjoying it, so we might keep it going even after we... um, after life returns to normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you seem like you've got your hands full, a lot of stuff, and Kristen, that's awesome for taking care of the little ones. I really appreciate that. Yes, 